What's up? I'm Britt Burton, and you're watching Beta Records TV. And today we're here with Carney, who's releasing their debut album, Mr. Green. Guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for having Thanks us. Thanks for having us. Now, obviously, you've been working on your debut album, but what was it like just doing the whole process? It was interesting because we actually recorded the album twice because we weren't satisfied with it the first time. The first version of the album didn't capture our essence live, and we've kind of grown in, in a reputation as being a live band, but it's it's been hard to capture that on recording, but I think we've finally done it. So, so how did you guys capture that on recording? Part of it was just recording everything live. When we did the actual live band performance takes, it was all together in a room, which I think helps. We had this great engineer. He's amazing. Matty Green, he's a friend of ours. He's just so good at capturing what I don't know what anyone does, I think, and he, he captured us. Part of the problem, I think, with the first version of the album is it was belabored quite a bit. We, we did it over the course of four months, whereas the second time, we didn't have any money. We had no money left over, so we did it in literally 14 days. So it was really, really fast, which I think it lends itself to um, spontaneous invention in some sorts, which, which is good for our music. I think we tend to work pretty well under pressure. I don't know why that is, but... You guys, you know, have great musicality, and you're all great players so oh, thank you how do you guys do you guys feel that's important to bring back i think like it's fun to to be in a band where there's so much live instrumentation as opposed to i mean this is the most serious thing i've ever said i think <laughs> you really like feel so serious. are you okay yeah but yeah, but, yeah i might need okay. some water all right but just to have being a band that that plays everything live as far as the instruments are concerned i think that's cool and how important to you guys is the live performance and connecting with your fans so far, it's the only thing we've got. Yeah. <laughs> like, so, so hopefully pretty important. important. Yeah. Yeah. You guys do have such an energy. How do you keep that same momentum every night since you guys would go on tour? We eat breakfast every morning. <laughs> it doesn't even matter. It, it actually is, um, you have to kind of treat yourself like an athlete, actually, um, in order to keep that up every night. Like before a show, like focusing and like warming up and all that stuff, It's we've had to start really, really focusing on that, even at our age. But I think it's important because I mean, when I go to a show, I, I want to see a show, a visual show. You kind of assume that people are going to be able to play their music, but you want to see something. Because you know, other why, why go to the concert? Why not just buy the CD? Right. So how so, do you, you know, keep reinventing yourself and keep pushing yourself to be better and better? We, we honestly want to be up there every night. You know, it's, it's for us, it's, it's just such an enjoyable experience that we just really love performing and love just seeing where the music goes. And, I think listening to music that um, stretches your boundaries and your ears a little bit, it allows you to take it further. I just bought Gustav Holst's The Planets. He's like a composer from the almost Impressionist era. And I was like, what the heck is he doing? Just like, I have to figure out what he's doing because it's so unbelievable. I think competing with the past, competing with the greats, as opposed to competing what's out there today, I think that's what, that's what I try to do, and I think that's what we all try to do. In 100 years, you know, maybe a 40-year difference between an artist will not seem like a big deal to the people listening to the stuff if it's even around. So, I mean, you, you just don't slack off, I guess, and just listen to the greats. Where can the fans check out your music or maybe find out more information? It's so easy now with Google. If you just type Carney into Google, the first thing that comes up is all our stuff, like our MySpace and our website. Okay, I like it. You're the first yeah. person that's ever said that, so yeah. nice. Google it. Yeah. <laughs>